Author's note, loosely inspired by Stephen King's work, but not in any way canon to, or fanfic of it. Intro, November 21, 2063. The Rocket 88 Diner is an unassuming restaurant and diner, located in the Confederation of Olinford, the fusion of the former main communities of Old Town, Indian Island, and Milford. In spite of the difficult security situation of the mid-21st century, it is open to a diverse clientele. The diner is owned by 75-year-old Mitch White and his longtime partner, the reconfigurable robot truck RX-78 Prime 2, a.k.a. Christine. White is a somewhat eccentric older man, who claims his late blooming interest in tech is attributable to his birth year being one of only two, along with early 89, that would have had essentially no exposure to the legendary reconfigurable robot truck, Optimus Prime. Christine has over the years adopted or fostered almost a dozen different human children, orphaned by various 21st century catastrophes. The two met over the phone, Mitch used to work at an Italian bakery, and Christine was a regular buyer of his products for her little ones. Although he assumed she was a regular woman at first, the two fell in love over a shared love of cannoli. Mitch eventually started a diner named after his birth year, as well as a great early 1950s rock and roll song, and serves 1950s inspired food. Burgers, shakes, fries, and hot dogs. November 22, 2063. Today is Ella's 18th birthday. Happy birthday, sweetie. Mitch and Christine, the latter kneeling to fit in the diner, greet Ella as she rides home from school, slotting her green bicycle into the bike rack. Thanks. Do you have any cool presents? Look. Mitch points to the rear of the diner, one of the doors has been wrapped. Go inside. It's special in there. Christine offers to guard her if she feels unsafe. Ella tiptoes to the door, nervous but also excited, and turns the knob. She enters what appears to be the supply closet in the back of the diner, but there is another door that she doesn't recognize. She cracks open the door. On the other side is a streetscape lined with New England houses and mid to late 1950s vehicles and fashions. Interesting. How'd you? She continues walking, and looks at a newspaper. The Newport Daily News, June 2nd, 1958. And then she sees a flyer. Coming this summer. Newport Jazz Festival 1958. Chuck Berry, Ray Charles, Miles Davis, James Brubeck, Mahalia Jackson, and more. December 1st, 2063. Over the next few weeks, Ellis spends a lot more time in the late 1950s. Each time she enters, the clock resets to Newport in June 2, 1958, and each time she returns, about an hour has passed in real time. On December 1, she comes back with a new hairstyle and a slightly skinnier frame, and walks over to Mitch and Christine, sitting in the parking lot. Mom, Dad. I would like to introduce you to my new boyfriend. A 36-year-old black man with wavy hair standing in the lot. He offers Mitch his hand. Hello, my name is Charles Anderson, and I am in love with your daughter Ella. I credit her with keeping me on the straight and narrow over the four years that we have known each other. I am moving to this timeline because I would like to explore the possibility of us starting a family together. Charles Anderson. Charles Edward Anderson Barry, but some people call me Chuck. Author's name and the link to original text is in the description.